Hey guys, and welcome back to Kid Gamer. In this episode, we shall be doing Layer Cake Desert. We had beat Lemmy for, um, and completed Acorn Plains with 50 lives. So now I'm going to go to the menu and change to Mario. As I said in the beginning of the first episode, I'm going to do Layer Cake Desert with Mario, the Sparkling Waters with Luigi, uh, so on, so on, until I get to Peach's Castle with Mario. Then I do Superstar Road with Luigi. Boom, boom. Mini games, Toad House, and Morton. All right, Stone Eye Zone, Larry Cake Desert. Let's go. I like the music to this level, it's just really fun. Um, and there's an acorn if you, those are waddle wings, by the way. Uh. If, if there's um there's acorns in this level which is pretty nice. There's six lives for Mario. I honestly oh come on. <laughs> okay, how is this star coin? Oh, maybe I should speak for myself. I was about to say, how is this star coin supposed to be hard? But frankly, I think it is, it's doing a number on me right now. There we go, that's more like it. Ah. <gasps> yes, acorn. That's the one up of the level. Hoo -hoo. And this is why you need the acorn for the second star coin. P switch. If you don't get the star coin on this visit, you'll have to get it on another visit because the P switch only go appears once per visit. And back into the level. We fly over here. Fly over here. Whoa! Whoa! Phew! Almost. Is that and up here that can also be why you need an acorn but the cr the paratroopa is right there if you need him because you can just basically jump off the paratroopa's head uh, I will not take any fire flowers today thank you very much so this is the world in which Kamek comes into uh, the boss fight no you don't fight Kamek oh yay so this happens, you get fireworks, when the two last digits are the same number, then you get an item and fireworks from Toad. Thanks a million for your help. Here, take this. Ooh, fire flower. So yeah, and then here's our first Nabbit chase about to come up. Huh. What was I about to say? I forget. Blah. My my tongue my tongue forget. Oh yeah, right. Nappa chase. Nope. A lot of fidgeting around. There's Nappet. Up, oh, Toad. I just saw you a second ago, didn't I? Okay, what's your problem, Toad? Oh, this is terrible. Some weirdo stole a bunch of my stuff, and he's so fast I'll never catch him. Please, you gotta help me. What is he doing? Are you serious, Nabbit? You're hopping into Acorn Plains way? Oh, I get it. It's just like abducting Toad. My Goombas. Oh, so this time Nabbit steals Toad's items. That was my all-time double favorite stuff, and I may never see it again. Ah, there's no time to stand around. He was headed for Acorn Plains. Oh, I almost forgot. Pipes are a surefire answer when you're in a rush. So yeah, you can you can get blasted to different worlds if you want. But you have to. But they have to be worlds you've unlocked. So I could in worlds you've actually been to. So I can't blast myself to Soda Jungle, even though I've unlocked a way to get there. Anyway, Lyric Cake Desert Two: Perilous or Perilous Pokey Cave. You really don't want to deal with those guys. But there's a secret hidden Yoshi in this level. And I might want to keep the. I might want. I think I want to keep this. I'm gonna want to. I 
I can I can deal. I almost feel like Koopas are good guys because I mean Koopa Troopas, excuse me. Um I almost feel like they're good guys because um they're they're very meek and mild, man. Erd Okay, that was too risky. I don't trust that. This kind of star coins happens in two more levels. One in Rock Candy Mines and another one, which is actually the next level. So yeah, hit these blocks, then go up here, Yoshi! So you can't go in any of those pipes. This is the pipe that you have to go in. And frankly, I don't really like it very much because you have to go in. Out, oh, duck. Get away from my Yoshi! kind of funny because they're the bats okay oh also um just so you know when Yoshi excuse me when Yoshi hits on when Yoshi hops on anything they automatically get destroyed like even Koopa Troopas. So you jump off the pokies and do that. <laughs> Nine lives with Mario. In this second life, I had like, I don't know. I don't even know how, I can't keep track of how many lives I had with Luigi in the, se in the, in the second level of uh, Acorn Plains. I think I had like 15, I think. Well, there are a lot of one-ups in Acorn Plains, so I'm not surprised. And there aren't any secret exits in this level. The secret exit is two levels before the, uh oh, again, two in a row, 233. Neat. Bye, Yoshi. Thank you, Millie, for your help. Here, take this. Once again, hopefully it's not a star. Oh, it's a mushroom, even worse. Thanks a lot, Toad. Well, <laughs> um, I guess we can deal with it, but... Anyway, there is level two completed. Lead to Boom Boom. New mushroom, yay. New item that I don't need. Let's go. Let's go. And I think I might go back for a second after I beat this level or lose, and get a um, acorn that is rumored to be around in uh, Acorn Plains. And in here. Now you can kill those fire snakes with um, your ice, if you're wondering. But you have to hit him on the head. There we go. Okay. Ha. Nice. Take that, piranha. I mean, Venus fire trap. Oh, excuse me. I need this. Now, this is a light up, baby Yoshi, and if you get to the end of the goal with it, then it'll give you a one up. Hey, nasty, fi nasty fire bro. Well, that's the one up. Uh, excuse me. So, I have 12 lives, a Yoshi. And you might be fooled that the checkpoint is right there. Now, this is not a star coin. It is, surprisingly, just a room filled with coins. And there's somewhere around here. Aha! I was about to say somewhere around here there's a one-up. We'll have to eat our way to it. <laughs> Eat your way. There. Oh, perfect. A mushroom I don't need. Sometimes I get things in life that I don't deserve. 
Honestly, I think I deserve that. Whoa. Ow. Now, the nice thing about this game is that when you get power-ups and you're tiny, you you can just, uh, well, for a second, I might have to throw you away. No, not in, like, the trash can or anything. But, uh, can I get down here? Thank you. Mario's kind of fat because he's, he's too much pasta. Mario, you need to get thin up because you eat too much ravioli. <laughs> okay, I see the case here. <laughs> Thank you, Yoshi. If you're really bad at this game, you probably wouldn't be able to get that, but. No. Yeah. Okay, there. Come on, come on, come on. Ugh! Rats. I was so close. Ugh. Ooh, ooh. Okay, fire snake. Okay, Yoshi. Eat my way through. I'll just go ahead and get you, I guess. Ugh! Yoshi! I'm wondering where the third star coin is. I can tell you if you want. The thing I like about Yoshi is that he can also eat your fireballs. This is where the third star coin is. If you've noticed, the balloon baby Yoshis have, I mean the Yoshis have their, uh, this is a light up baby Yoshi, the and the balloon baby Yoshi is pink as I mentioned in the last episode. And the bubble baby Yoshi is blue and spits out bubbles that you can hop on. And if the, what I like about the bubble baby Yoshi is that um, when you kill um, um, when you hit an enemy with the bubbles, it turns into the item or coins. See, he gives you a one up right out of the bat. Now we can, I guess we can just keep the ice because there's going to be ice in there anyway. Oh, yeah, silly me. I forgot to go to the toad house. <laughs> oh, yeah, and then I, have, then I have to go get that acorn. Please say there are more interesting items. Oh, come on. Even worse. I'd prefer a peach crown over a mushroom or a star. This part I used to not be able to do, but now I can do it. It's the ones on the far end. Star and mushroom there. <laughs> Yay! I got a st I got totally worthless items. Well, I guess that's life. Two mushrooms in a row. Man, I'm going to have to erase some of these. Ooh, the mini games are up there. Oh, silly me. Why do I always forget to do things? I was going to go get that acorn. Oh, I can't quit. Come on. Now, if you'll notice, that is totally a secret. You can totally recognize by the walls. So, let's get the stuck one. And there's not a hidden wall behind there, so... Which, you don't really know where the star coin goes, so. I guess you could say you don't, you don't really need, you don't really, you can't really get the star coin if you miss it. You have to get it again if you're going to do it. Ow, why did I do that? My last ice ball, my last ice ball thrown. Okay, this part's a bit hard. I have to go up here. Wall jump, wall jump, wall jump, wall jump. Oh yeah, I didn't have to wall jump for that part. Yeah, the second star coin's a bit of a pain in the butt, but if you're really good at it, like me and not some other cruddy gamer, you won't, you'll be able to beat it. I mean, I don't mean that other games are gamers are cruddy. I mean, they're probably really good. They're probably better than me because I'm horrible at this game. I mean, I'm good, but I don't mean to brag. So, um. 
hopefully th maybe there's something over here. I think there's a one up over there. I'll check both sides. Yep, that's the side with the one up on. And I don't need these blocks to get up the pipe anyway. I can just do this. Excuse me, I was going to get up there. Uh, I'm going to get up there. I'm trying to get up. Oh, I guess I have to. Silly me. Oh gosh. <gasps> what? The heck? Down, down. <gasps> Woo! Mm -hmm. oh okay, here's the cool part. The quicksand will not kill you. Now this is not a star coin, this is not a star coin, it's just like a free power up. And usually it's a worthless mushroom that I don't need. I used to just call these the halfway bosses because I guess it's a sign of having a halfway. Boom Booms aren't in New Super Mario Bros. Wii, which is kind of a shame because you just have to fight the bosses twice and you don't. That's kind of weird. Um. But if you love Super Mario Bros. Wii, I hope you don't take any offense from me. Now, you might think you have to spin the wheel when you go in here, but you don't. It, you just have to, it, you just spin the wheel so the blocks move. There, I only did it with one gong. Whatever they're called. Uh, grinding stones, I don't think. Oh, G rolls, G rolls. <laughs> oh, phew. <phew. sighs> At least that worked. All right, and you come back out of this pipe. Now, if you would come here uh, for a second, uh, Mr. Dry Bones, uh, that would, I would be very grateful. Now, I will kill you for your niceness. Dead Dry Bones for the scene of me going. Everything stops when you go into a battle. Oh, there's Kamek. What's he gonna, what's he gonna do this time? Oh, I like how there's sand falling. <laughs> Spread your magic on me, boom, on um, boom, boom. See, look, there, there's all those bruises, as I mentioned in last episode, because it's the same boom, boom every time. Oh, Kamek, Kamek made him do a little odd thing. Mario number one, woohoo! There we go. Beat him. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Yay, the mini games are next. There's powerhouse, another powerhouse, and levels. Ding. Save. Oh, another scene. Oh no, Kamek. What are you doing? Get out of here, Kamek. Jeez. <laughs> hmm. Okay, we don't care, Bowser. All right, time to kill this fire, fire bro, who has caused me a lot of pain so far in this gaming se series. <laughs> oh yes, another propeller cap. I love propeller caps. Another reason I like doing the mini game is because you. 
because you get a lot of it different items. You never know. You never know when you'll what items you'll get. I'll trade out a mushroom if I have to get. If I have to. Man, I've almost filled up my item slot. All right, let's beat you up, Goomba. <gasps> Peach crown, yay! <laughs> yay, I have a new item. Now if it's... Hopefully it's not just a mushroom in the star again, but you never know. These cans are about to fire a barrage of coins at one Collect as many as you can. Get more one-ups than Bowser's to earn one-ups. Now first they just fire out coins, then they fire out uh, one-ups and Bowser's. They want you to get your product. <laughs> yeah, I only won one one up like last time. Well, that's 20 lives for Mario. I just need about 30 more and then I'll have the exact same as Luigi. All right, into the toad house. I wish you'd be like on the outskirts of the toad house first. Ooh, yes, I'm just getting the, f I'm just getting the fire flower. Yay, I got a fire flower. <laughs> I wonder if I can erase the items right now. Because I want to erase the star and the mushroom. How am I supposed to? Oh, oops. Um, how am I supposed to? Uh. Okay. I guess you can't erase items. Um. Yeah, layer cake desert four. Spike spot exits. This is the one with the secret exit in it. And I and the one up is really easy to get. It's at the beginning. And Spike returns from a uh, Super Mario Party. If you've ever played it, I've never played it. Um. Hopefully you guys like me. I'm not. Oh come on! I get a one up and then I immediately lose it. <sighs> Jeez. Well, I'll get another one up. Oh, let's go. If only I had just wall jumped into the sand. Well, this is the way you're supposed to do it anyway, so. Huh? I wonder if there's, nope, no power up. Huh? <laughs> That's the trick. Star coin. It's up here. Oh, come on. I was so close. 
You could get Swish between these, I think. I don't even think I need that. Ow. Why do I even need that? Because right here, you can see there's like a little space, so you have to know it's a fake wall. Because right here, there is a mini mushroom. This is the first level where the mini mushroom is presented in. And there are actually mini pipes. So only many people can go into the mini pipes. And then you get, whoa! You get fired all the way up here. I think we should probably do this level. As you know, we're in Layer Cake Desert. So I should do this one. Then after I do Blooming Lakitus, we'll go up and do the secret exit level. Then we'll do the boss. Okay, so without further ado, let us go into Layer Cake Desert 5 Dry Desert Mushrooms with Mini Mario. I forgot to mention. Mini Mario is really cool in this game. He can run up walls, which is what I like about him. The only bad thing about him is that you have to ground pound to actually fully kill enemies and even when he ground pounds he it turns the it turns the sh koopa shells into just shells so he has to ground pound again probably to fully kill them because you have to ground pound to fully kill koopas if you hop on them it just takes their shell this part's a bit hard Oh gosh. Yeah, you kind of need to strengthen out your skills for that star coin. It's really hard. I mean, usually I can get it without too much of a problem, but oh, I'll try it again. I try, I'm trying not to lose. I think I'm better. I think I'm be a bit better with Luigi than I am with Mario. Uh, so... Ah! Don't you dare hit me, you d dummies. Ooh, phew. Uh, acorn. Let's get that. Thank you very much. Ow! Oh, oh yes, there's another one right here. Uh, let's get this. Dur -dur -dur. Get these. Blah. This. Only thing I don't like about this star coin is everything. Ow. Well, I guess this is not working out very well. Oh, no. I'm not going back into that torture chamber. Ah! Come on. Well, I was about to say I'm not going back into that torture chamber. But this is more of a torture chamber than... This whole level is more of a torture chamber than it is. That didn't make any sense. All right. All right. For the millionth time, let's go on Dry Desert Mushrooms. Whew, it's starting to feel like a let me swing back castle. In the last episode, I kept on failing. Maybe I'll get that when I have an acorn. Because I don't want to risk losing my acorn. I'm fine. Thank you. I'm fine. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh. Do okay. This... Do not throw the pal block when those come apart because then the star coin will go into the abyss and you'll be star coinless. So make sure you time the pal block hitting right. And there's another one like that. There we go. There's another one like that. There's another part like that in uh, sparkling, some sort of sparkling waters level. Oh, I lost my acorn, but at least I got the second star coin. What? 
Yeah, I know, guys. Sorry. I, I did that out of order. I just did it in order to... Oh, gosh. That was a leap of faith. I just did that in order to... Uh... Okay, this part is stupid. I just did that in order to... Okay. Ah! Oof! Well, it wasn't easy, but we beat it. Mario time! Jeez Louise, Mario. We're getting out a little hand. We're getting out of hand here. Oh, by the way, remember, uh, for Spike Spatting Sands, you just, instead of getting the secret exit, like, don't get the mini mushroom, just, just. Oh, why did I go in there again? Oh, silly me. <sighs> well, maybe I'll try and. Maybe this time I'll survive with an acorn. So, and this time I don't really have to get all the star coins. Yay! Not that I don't like getting the star coins, but. <gasps> okay, there. Well, at least I died. I'm not going back into that horror zone anymore, okay? Alright. Now let's go on to the actual level I wanted to go to Blooming Lakitus, Larry Cake Desert 6. Alright, Mario, 20 lives. This one's neat. Because, ah. no, quicksand is not a one-hit takedown. If you stay in it too long, it's uh, it'll drain you. And apparently, I think this. What? Oh. Ooh, superstar. Thank you. I'm gonna go for a one up. All oh, rats. Up oh, didn't work, but. That star coin is so easy to get. It doesn't really deserve to be a star coin. Ow. Oh, there's a lack of two down. Cause you have to, you you need this or a propeller cap to get up there. If you want to waste a propeller cap from your item selection, be my guest. But I'm not that kind of person. So if you so call it what you like. Uh. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. There we go. And freeze! Freeze. Ha! No, rats. Didn't give me a one up. Okay, in here to the roulette block. Where it gives me a one up! Yay! I need more lives. I apologize if I'm being really bad at this game right now. That star coin is kind of easy too. Ah. Erg. I don't really know why I'm risking my life for a one up. I... Uh, there we go. That's more like it. Mario time. There we go. Okay, now we are going to go do Piranhas on Ice. Lair Cake Desert Ice. Piranha Plants on Ice. Okay. Now, both of those have coins. This is the only one with the power up in it. So, these star coins, I have to admit, are a bit hard. Especially this one. Hmm? Sorry for the stall. Uh, anyway. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> this is a good place to do a lot of front flips. Oh, I missed the second star coin. Sure is a lot of there it is. Whoop. Whoop. And whoop. whoop. Oops. It's really easy to miss. Ugh, come on. Why did I do that, me? Uh, yeah. I don't think that worked. I can't do it. Oh, I'll have to go back in here again. Sorry if I can only manage one of these star coins. I'm I'm trying my best. I really am. Ugh. I think I didn't know I didn't miss it yet. The third star coin. Oh! Oh! oh. Rats. Why did I? Why did I do? Er. Layer cake, desert ice. Once again, piranha plants on ice. The bad thing about secret exit levels is that they don't have uh, halfway checkpoints. You know what I mean? I'll show you where the first star coin. I'll show you where the second star. I mean, and third are star coins are. I'll just. Uh, uh, uh. Oh gosh, that was so close. <sighs> Jeez. I can't believe that they make you do all that work just for a star, a star coin. I mean, star coins, they, they're they pretty tough. It's probably one of the most tough star coins in the game. It's definitely up there. I'm not exactly sure what is the toughest. I don't even know if there is one. Oh, once again, I have missed the second star coin. But... Mushroom. Thank you. No, I have to get this. I have to get this right. Whoops. Oh, God. All right, I'm just gonna have to finish it. Sorry. Ugh. Jeez. I can't believe why I did that. Maybe just this once I'll have to be Nabbit because I can't really get, I can't get, I can't. I just can't get that star coin without Nabbit. It's, it's, it's not impossible, but I hope you guys don't mind if I just switch to Nabbit just for this. I'm just going to do it, but it won't, it won't, um, it won't cover Nabbit completing it over Mario completing it. It'll just, uh, it'll just be a bit of cheating, but sorry. I just really need to do this, but this is also a good time to show Nabbit skills. You might, or, you know, you if you press L and R at the same time while on uh, Toad, you can turn to Blue Toad. And Nabbit and Toadette, Na Toadette has a special power up where uh, Toadette gets to be able to turn into Peach. It's actually called Peachette. My friends get mixed up with that all the time. Uh, um, and, uh, And and then Nabbit and Toadette have a special power up in the while in the water they can uh, you can just control them with the joystick and and you can and Nabbit has an invincibility power up where only falling off the world or being squished kills him or having the world fall on him. Uh, 
and and that's like all the power ups for them. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Like each character has their own special power up, I think. Hey, why did I do that? Oh, well, I'll have to get back up there. Er, burp, there. Now, now we can. Silly. There we go. And in here. Oh, well, that's all the Star Coins. I'll just have to finish it now. And hopefully I do not die. So, yes, it is it is not impossible for Nabbit to die. If if you were noticing. And uh it's actually pretty fun when when it's actually pretty fun when you're an Abbot because you just like run through everything except if you fall off the world. But yeah, it's besides that, it's really fun. I think Nabbit makes a return in like Super Mario Tennis or something, but I don't I don't really know how to play that, so I I'll try and maybe showcase that for you guys, but I honestly don't know. So I think I'll just go on to the castle now. And that'll be and that'll be it. So twenty three lives, Mario Morton's Compactor Castle, Lair Cake Desert Castle. So I guess this is Morton for the boss fight. Anything in here? Nope. <laughs> By the way, I apologize when I was uh, singing last episode. That just got to me. It was weird. But, uh, frankly, I think it was actually... Why did I do that? Oh, of all the stupid things. Jeez. Well... I'll have to do that level again. Yeah, you might think that 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 star coin's impossible. It really isn't. You can just literally sprint across. You you, you can just sprint. Cause um, when when they have gaps, sometimes it, they if you're sprinting fast enough, you can sprint over them. Okay, this time I'm not going for that stupid jump that I tried last time. I don't know why they put those coins there. Maybe just to tempt you into losing your power up. I'd rather, I'd rather, what, again, again, of all the stupid things, why, why me, why'd you pick me to torture, alright, once again, Martin's come back to your castle, alright, this is the, Mario, this is the last time I'm losing with you, okay, well, on, in this world, hopefully, hmm, Mm -hmm. Oh, well, you can do that without losing a power-up. It's just pretty risky. So, I would recommend you don't, but it's fine. Alright, finally, finally, I did it. Now, the second star coin is a bit of a pain in the booty, but because you don't you don't usually see it. You might think it's up there, but just like the secret exit in Tilted Tilt the Tunnel, it's just right there. It's just right here. Like, right above out of the ordinary. Oh, phew. There. And instead of going up the red pipe, you go out of the red pipe, which I don't know why you go backwards instead of forwards when you do that. Okay, that's really risky because and that's also really risky because you could could get squished from the two corners. So, note that. Woof! We made it to the halfway. We made it to the checkpoint. Oh, why did I do that? Well, I'll just save you. Okay, this is also a bit risky. Now, I know it. Ugh, come on! Now, I know what you were thinking. Sacrifice. But, um... If you can do multiplayer, you can just do that, turn to a bubble, and get the other person to pop you. So, that's also a, kind of a good strategy, but it's better just to do it this way. And that's also what the landing thing is for, because they don't expect you to do multiplayer the whole time. Most of these check ones are expected for you to be multiplayer, but I honestly don't really like playing multiplayer that much, because you just have to wait, and people people might be like, Kid Gamer, Kid, why'd you do that? And, and like, uh... I don't know, 
it's just weird because woof thank goodness for wall jumps and that's like the 15th time I've m mentioned that uh <laughs> Woohoo! So when dry bones. Okay, note these two things. When dry bones' heads fall into the lava, it takes a bit longer for them to go back together. And you can kill lava bubbles with fire. Okay, this part's also hard. Note that. This is this part is also hard. Ag! Well, I'll get a fire at the end. Hopefully. Whoa! That was close. Okay, this part is really risky. You could get squished between that, or you could get squished between these two corners. So it's super risky. Now, the question mark, mark block is right here because it's the fire flower. There's nothing right here. Yeah, there's nothing. So just go into the boss doors with a fire flower, 22 lives, all star coins, zero coins. All right, this had better be good. One time before I did this series, I was battling Morton, and as soon, as soon as I dealt the finishing act on him, he died, and then I died at the same time, and then we lost. So that was a bit odd, but now I'm better. Okay, this is probably one of the hardest Koopa, bo Koopa boss fights, because he'll stun you like Roy does in Super Mario Bros. Wii, and this time he, hit, he hits pokies. He hits pokey balls. Got him. So he'll pop out on this side because he was on that side. He's gonna pop out on that side. Yeah! It's not that hard for me anymore. The first time I tried to beat this, man, it was so hard. I lost to it at least 20 times, and I'm not exaggerating. Huh, yeah, huh, huh, yeah. And I completely, and I com, and I completely just destroyed it. With Nabbit, though. So that was kind of cheating. But, um, there we go. Larry Cake Desert completed. Yahoo! That's gotta mean something good, right? Thank you guys so much for what. So yeah, that that just wraps up the episode. So thank you guys so much for watching, uh, and I'll see you on the next episode of New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe.